We want to provide happiness because this is what we believe in and this is the way we lead our lives. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time at the channel, hit subscribe right now. Today is an awesome day because today is the morning after uh, the new Temperance album was released called Diamanti and I get to talk to both Marco and Michele about the new album. Let's give him a call. Okay, so Marco and Michele, thank you so much for your time today. And I, I do mean that when I say that I appreciate it because today is important. Today is the morning after, well, afternoon for you, after uh, the new album came out. So I can only imagine how tired, how much of a headache, um, and, and potentially how hungover you might be at this point. Um, how are you guys doing with the new album out? Hangover, hangover would come tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> because tonight, like here in Italy, women, we are also performing a show. We exactly. are in the backstage of the venue in which we are performing tonight in Mantua for the Melodic Metal Fest that will also be our release show. So yeah, it's not time for hangovering yet. We have to keep our <laughs> focus high, our energy high, because in a couple of hours we will perform. And exactly. right after, of course, it will be finally the time to release. <laughs> finally. Awesome. And we are very excited about that because uh, we, didn't, we didn't play in Italy in the last almost two, two years. years. Yeah. So it's great. No, that's, that is awesome. Exactly. Now, and, and it's not that you've not been busy. Uh, you know, we had an album in 2020. There was an acoustic album in between. Now we have a new full album. Uh, so first question first, uh, tonight it is the release show for the new first album. Part, yes. um, so the, the focus I'm going to assume is heavily on the new album. Um, but going forward with, you know, there's, there's shows being announced, you know, a tour was postponed. Um, you've got a lot of new material to work with. Uh, are the, should the fans expect um, you guys mostly promoting the latest album or will it be a bit of a mixed bag and maybe throw in some of those acoustic renditions as well? Of course, it will be a, a mix between the new album but also the previous album because honestly, uh, we didn't have the chance to promote Viridian very well because we mm -hmm. played only four headliner shows. And after that, we played four shows with Tarja Trune in tour. And of course, in the middle of the tour, uh, the pandemic came out. So yeah. we had no chance to promote Viridian very good. So tonight we will play, I think, 90% of the stuff it, it, it's from it's from Viridian. Viridian and yeah, some but new songs. 90%, of course, mm -hmm. it will be Viridian. And also we will play one song we never played before, taken from Viridian. Just because during the eight shows we did before, we didn't play the song. And yeah. for sure, uh, we'll play the singles from Diamanti. For the very first time, we'll play Diamanti tonight. Because okay. we played a couple of weeks ago in Netherlands, and we played already Pure Life Unfolds, and Breaking, Breaking Rules, Rules, Heavy Metal. But uh, yes, it will be the premiere for Diamant, so we are very excited about that. When it comes to the acoustic, we are actually performing some acoustic shows too, combined with these electric shows. Because for, in, in the Netherlands, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. we performed an electric set in which we performed also the two songs, the two original tracks from uh, Melodies of Green and Blue. Tonight, okay. we are doing a short acoustic set during the changeover between two other bands. So we're, all in all, we are trying to combine everything and to perform as much as yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah. We've been talking about this in the future. We might even consider touring just with the acoustic show to keep on promoting also the acoustic record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite being only online. I mean, we want to play as much as we can. That's the thing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys can now become your own opening band. You know, you can be like, hey, first acoustic <laughs> show and then uh, the uh, the electric show. But Some bands have done that. Maybe, maybe with a mask. <laughs> we can look go. at each other and, and say, now the stage is yours. 
Uh, let's talk real quick about uh, Diamante, not the, the album, but the song uh, that you released. You know, the, the video was released a few days ago. Um, special about this uh, song that I'm sure uh, most of your diehard fans already know is that um, not only has the single an Italian chorus, there's actually multiple versions of this song uh, recorded. So I assume that you are training yourself as well, that when you play in Germany, you might play a German version of that song. Um, there's five so five versions, I believe. Um, yep. Both of you, I, I, obviously, Marco, you do multiple, uh, you, you take care of multiple things in the band from a music perspective, but uh, you're both singers. Uh, has one been more tricky than the other uh, to, a language to tackle? Depends by the singer. For example, for me, it was the German one because I I didn't talk German at all. But yeah, yeah. the Spanish, it was pretty much okay because uh, I have several Spanish friends, and um, so it, it yeah, was yeah. okay. Also the French because back then when I when I was a child, I studied a little bit of French, but of yeah. course after years I didn't remember anything but of course some <laughs> memories came out right uh, and it's all so roman me, languages right so yeah they yes yeah, so together so for me the the most difficult one it was the the german but for instance for me it's the opposite like i was super easy with the german version it went super well like just a couple of takes and i was into the song yeah. and you will, you will be disappointed to hear that my french version was totally <laughs> The one that made me struggle the most. I'm sorry. For uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I, I, don't worry. I, 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 I mean, even I, though I'm, I'm originally from Belgium and I live in Canada, two countries that have French as a national language. Uh, my mother tongue is Dutch or Flemish, and I and I live in the English-speaking part of Canada. So I won't be personally offended. Don't worry. Maybe the singer which has the best accent in a specific language could be the one singing the chorus as a main singer, as a lead vocalist during right. uh, the tours. Because actually, it's in our plans, you know? If we play France, to sing it in French. Exactly, we yeah. Canada, to sing it in French. We play Germany, to sing it in German. Nice. So we will probably split and invert the roles compared to the studio version and have like Marcos singing in Spanish. In South America. Yeah, in Portuguese, I will sing in German and but, I don't know. But <laughs> English. Can, can you imagine if something will go in a wrong direction and, uh, for example, we'll go in Germany and we will sing in French? <laughs> oh, sorry, man, I we forgot to wear here. That's like, a, that's like a spinal tap moment, you know, thinking that you're playing in Chicago, but you're really in Paris. Awesome. Um, so, um, it's, uh, it's interesting though, right? Because um, I know that um, the third singer, Alessia, um, she said in interviews a couple of years ago already that she really wanted to, to try more Italian uh, in, in, in the songs. And then now you guys have this Diamante song that has this, at least the, the single version has parts in Italian. And I'm sure that you guys, because you know, you released new songs, so it's only normal that you want to know what people are thinking. And I'm sure you've scrolled through some YouTube comments and I think almost every single one of the comments on that song is, this is amazing and I want to hear more Italian from you guys. Um, that, without getting too sentimental, but for an Italian band, and these comments are not only coming from Italian fans, these are, this is coming from all over the world. I saw, you know, comments in Russian that I'm sure you guys also Google translated uh, to respond to. Yeah, exactly. uh, that must be special though. It is. It totally is. It's really satisfying, actually. Yeah. Because it shows that people are willing to uh, enter a different culture. They are not yeah. necessarily uh, bonded to the language that they understand perfectly. Yeah. And, I mean, I think that we made a smart choice in in offering different versions to you know, because if we would have just done, if we just recorded the Italian version without the other options. Maybe it would have been appreciated, maybe, I'm just saying, maybe it would have been appreciated less. But giving option, showing that we cared for yeah. everyone, we chose Italian because we are Italians. Yeah. I think this is the key that really made this for a special for real, you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And it doesn't mean that you have to go all Manowar when they released that father, so I don't know if you remember <laughs> that, where they had 35 different 
But also <laughs> Blank Guardian. Blank Guardian. Yeah. Don't believe who we are in two awesome creation. <laughs> Quick question, because you guys are, you know, there's a lot of momentum behind your band right now. Napalm is definitely invested. Uh, it's clear to see that, um, you know, not every European symphonic metal band gets the same amount of exposure in North America, for example, from labels. And we see Napalm pushing that. They are also doing that for Visions of Atlantis, another band that is going pretty hard. Obviously, Michaela, you're in both those bands. Um, there will be stuff you guys can combine, but is that at times a tough conversation to have within the band where there's only so much Michaela to go around. Um, does that <laughs> limit no. uh, your plans in any way? The thing is that, uh, especially the two of us, we are really productive on several levels. Uh, Marco has, I think you have more bands than I have. <laughs> not, not official, not, not official. But the point is, uh, we are working so hard, not only as band members, but also as songwriters for mm -hmm. other bands, producer, uh, guest singer for other stuff, because this is our, our work, life. So. And of course, without a tour life, we have to do something in the middle. Right. But also because we really love to uh, write a song for something something else. Yeah. I think that in, in general, the key element here, and this is something that I consider really special, I feel really lucky, and I hope Marco feels the same, never really opened up on this, is that we care about each other uh, right. success, I would say, of no matter the project. Of course, you know, you can't choose between one band or the other because it's like choosing which son or daughter yeah, you yeah. have to prefer. This, this is exactly the same feeling. So it's not like since I am busy with this band, then the other one is struggling because it, it's, it's a balance. And as long as you show that you really care for each project that you have, everything is perfectly fine. But at the yeah. same time, if tomorrow Marco makes his life out of another project, which is not Temperance, I would personally be extremely happy for him and I would be his first fan. You see what I mean? And I guess that is the, the same, same for me, of course. The same for Marco. And this is yeah. something that it's special, it bounds us and never creates a real a real issue. We are we are problem solver. The both of us, we are problem solver. The moment in which there is a mixed schedule or some overlapping, we find solutions. Yes. Yeah. And people know, people see this. People see that we are a real family in Temperance, that yeah. we really have a, a bonding that goes beyond being colleagues or musicians. And yeah, the moment in which one of us has uh, good resonance, we are not like jealous. I don't know if this is the right yeah. term in English, too, but in Italian it works perfectly. We're not jealous towards each other, we are super happy. So okay. yeah. <laughs> That atmosphere of positivity that you're describing, that is something that is, you know, channeled through your music as well, right? I mean, I love the fact that one of your singles was, you know, you know, breaking the rules of heavy metal. And it's, you know, it's very on the nose, obviously, but that is what you guys do in so many different ways, um, uh, including image and using color where a lot of people turn to darkness and, and so on. Um, this, in every single single, that has been released so far. Now, the, the the album is out, so everybody can listen to the full album now. But specifically the songs that you guys released, positivity seems to always be the number one message uh, of this band. Is that is that a fair statement? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we believe that uh, our role in this world is to provide happiness and positivity to those who listen to our music. Yeah. Sometimes in the new album, especially, we might have touched some topics that have been never touched before. That might be a little bit more, I would say, adult, mature. Mature, yes. We start from some sad moments, sad situation too. Like there is a song that Marco sings, which is called "Idle Loneliness." Mm -hmm. The title is "Happy at All." <laughs> or even, uh, you know, "Fairy Tale from the Star" has this melancholic uh, mood. mood. Uh, but there are several songs in which you really feel Black is My Heart. It's, it's not a happy title, but right. in the end, what we do is we will find a way. We find a way. We and tell and there's also the music is there as well. It's not just the lyrics that are positive. There is a there is a there is a colorfulness to your sound as well. Exactly. Exactly. 
Some bands, they want to use their music to express their self, and sometimes it might be rage, sometimes it might be depression. Temperance is just different because everyone has the possibility of explain, of expressing himself as he wants, you know. In, in our case, we chose our music to be a positive message. It's yeah. just a decision. Some might not like it, but it's, you know, this is how the world is beautiful because it's different, you know. And everyone, everyone is different. different. Everyone is different. Yeah. We want to provide happiness because this is what we believe in and this is the way we live our lives. If someone called my name. So we have the show tonight. Um, a previous tour with Leaves Eyes was postponed. Um, what can you? Some announcements have been made. What should the fans know? What do we need to keep our eyes open for? So um, the thing is, next week or a couple of weeks, we will announce a lot of stuff because um, on February uh, we will come back on tour with Taria. For sure, mm -hmm. if it happen. I mean, so we we want course. to believe. It. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For uh, for three weeks uh, in Europe in March, uh, other three weeks with Taria for a second leg. But at the end of March until the end of April, we will do a headline a headliner tour uh, for the first time until three four years. Yeah, because we did other tour as support band. Yep. In the past, we did some headliner tour, but finally, we'll come back with a very long headliner tour. It, it will be one month in Europe, so in UK, in, in the East Europe, in, in Europe, in Germany, in Italy, of course. And at the end of the next year, we'll come back also on tour with Live Size, and uh, we're working so hard on a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, in, not next year, but in the next years, we will be able to reach maybe US. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? That's but also South America, Asia. So let's see. But we're we're working so hard on that. <laughs> for sure, for sure, we don't demand a lot. We are not one of those bands who really need you know the perfect condition for touring and everything. We want to we want to live on the road. Temperance is a live band. It's a tour tour live band. We we feel yeah. caged when we are stuck at our place. Right now, it, it really feels like. We are missing what we are meant to live for. Yeah. Uh, so the moment in which we will have a chance to get back on the road, we won't demand, you know, five-star hotel and the spa. Uh, we just want to play. Like, hey, you're not gonna say no. But <laughs> I don't think we are plus, of course. Yeah, but I, I don't think we are this kind of, you know, people. <laughs> Yes, but for the next tour, yes, we will have the five stars. I think that I would, <laughs> I would totally prefer an additional show rather than the other. Me too, me too. <laughs> I mean, we can play a show in the spa. Yeah, the that's the spa. That would, now that would be a live album that a lot of people want to see. <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, hey guys, I really appreciate it that on this day of all days, you're taking this time to, to have a chat with me. Um, I'm gonna let you guys go and just live up to the show and get super pumped. Um, and I can't wait to see all of the content that will come out of the show and everything that's next. Um, I, I love your, your vibe and your enthusiasm. I love the positivity and the energy of the album. Uh, hope you guys make it out to North America. If not, we'll just have to get on a plane and come see you guys in Europe or hang out in the store. You know, no problem. For sure, for sure sooner or later, we will reach yeah. uh, North America. Awesome. For awesome. sure. Well, congratulations with the release. I Thank think you. this album is going to be the next big step in, in the career. And uh, you see those millions of views on the previous videos. I think uh, especially with the song Diamante, I think that's you've got an anthem that will last you for a very long time. Have a great time tonight, guys. Enjoy this moment. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys uncaged more now that you can go on the road again. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for your Thank time. You very much. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.